We're moving all of that stuff into a giant berm right here because next year I want to try to build like an eight foot, 10 foot high waterfall right here. You want to do what? Yeah! <laughs> what? Wait till you see that. It's going to be awesome. You guys, Whitstock's getting his cardio. <laughs> There's not too many times you actually get to see a Whitstock in his element, but you're about to. Oh, oh. He's never gonna get less fat by walking up and down the stairs. Oh, there he goes. Oh. It's like he's doing <laughs> judo. <laughs> <laughs> this was just the first thing on our list of things to do before the Artist of the Year tour starts here at Aqualand. So impressed, and it makes me feel really big. <laughs> Chris, don't show this like behind the scenes. It literally is. It's really probably a uh, privilege for these guys to see this stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Chris, we got Brian up there showing off his gymnastics. Parkour. Parkour. Parkour, yeah. <laughs> so, so we're having a little bit of fun today. We are very, very close to the wrap up of our season, which means we're not gonna have too many outdoor projects to show you guys for a while. So we were just kind of out here talking about what the heck we got going in the meantime. So what are we gonna do and wow. show the people I mean, out there? Look at how much stone we have. This is all the stone that's just been accumulated over the years. So I see him moving stuff from the Flower and Garden show from five years ago. We've got some random aqua blues over here. We've got new aqua over there. We palletized gravel. We have, I think what we figured, two semis of outcropping. Mm -hmm. Hey, if anybody wants a deal on a stone, <laughs> give us a call. <laughs> Let's go look at the stone. Um, we're just cleaning up everything back here. It's kind of nice to clean out the closet, I guess. We have a pretty big closet. <laughs> We've got all of this soil that needs to be moved over here. This was all from Mormon training waterfall competition. We're moving all of that stuff into a giant berm right here because next year I want to try to build like an eight foot, 10 foot high waterfall right here. You want to do what? Yeah! <laughs> what? Wait till you see that. It's going to be awesome. And give all this stone a purpose. Maybe we could use some of that for our big uh, waterfall. I counted it, Brian. We had 48 pallets of stone oh. that we palletized, and that was all buried way back in there. Wow. I guess it's about 15 years worth of stone that's just been piling up back there. So we're just getting it all organized, partially because we need to at that time of year, but the main reason we're doing it is we're getting ready for all these past artists of the year coming in for their week in the sandbox. And each one of them gets to choose what kind of stone they want to work with, whether it's granite, whether limestone, rock blues, moss rock, their choice, and we're gonna get all that organized for them. We need all the gravel and stuff ready for them. So there's a lot going on for that. We also have all kinds of things to do inside. Actually, let's just take them all the way inside right now. Okay, good. <laughs> what do you got going on? Hey. Got a call with the front floor. Good. I'm, I'll come up there and uh, give me five minutes. Chris and I are just filming something. I'm in the warehouse on the front of the steps. All right. Well, let's just go there now. Let's see what he wants. Let's see. In the warehouse at the front of the steps. Okay, okay. Let's go. Well, on our way to go finding Greg, let's just talk about what we're doing up here. I'd love to redo this wall. And do what with it? Tie it more I into what we have? Tie it into there. Okay, I want to do the either reclaimed wood. I want to do either some of that slat wall stuff. Maybe the slat wall would look nice. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind even carrying this floor right yep. here into this space a little bit more, but we gotta see. Oh, <laughs> don't get on camera. Uh oh. Um, this wall has gotta get moved to the back. We're actually gonna use that inside the She Shed Man Cave. As oh, part of our bar. The bar top, right? Yeah, not the bar top, but the bar face. Oh, cool. And they're gonna do a different top on it. So they're gonna bring it, cut it up, and then we're gonna cut it up into like just some wall art and some other areas. Okay. The big project we have up here is this thing. What the heck is that thing? What is that? It's our pet boulder. <laughs> you think that's Woody? Woody looks happy today. Yeah, he does. Our alligator snapping turtle. And Greg got this tank without really an idea of what to do with it. Mm -hmm. So now that it's here, we have to figure out how to make it look like it's more of a built-in. We probably want to do a little bit more like of a reclaimed wood look on this side. Maybe the opportunity to do like a little green wall mm -hmm. over here. I haven't quite decided exactly how it's all going to go together. On the other side, so we got to make it dual-sided, yeah. right? We want to make this a solid wall. This 
hide all this here. We want to put more of a window in. Maybe some plants up on top. I talked to the plant lady. They can get us some big trees to kind of come in. Cool. And so I just want to make it look more like a built-in. The tricky area is going to be over here because this is the main built-in. Yeah. So we need to figure out how do we do a trap door for this. Maybe instead of, now this is just coming to me now. Just now. Well, Maybe this instead is of awesome. trying to figure, yeah. This is like sneak, you know. Yeah. Man. <laughs> instead of trying to figure out how to hide this filter, we figure out a better filter. That's mm. easier than I. Huh? Did you say better filter? I, and I know a place that does that. So this is a big project for the two of us. What I like about this is this is gonna kind of take us back to some of those flower and garden show days where we come up with these weird facades. And yep. so we'll just get creative and put some moss and some metal and some wood. We'll come up with something cool. Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. Aline didn't just got done talking to me too about, you know, maybe a complete store rehab at some point, but that was too much for me right now. Just Whoa. Like. We want to come in here and change a bunch of stuff. So, you know, we got all that moss. Mm -hmm. I really like to green this up. I think I'd like you guys to even take this. Keep the spheres, but how do we get like a little bit of a waterfall all right. coming through some areas and, yep. and just give this some new life. A big thing with retail is always changing yep. the displays. And so how can we change this to make it different? And I think covering this with moss and through here, changing this around a little bit, maybe even incorporate one of our flaming urns. All right, so we've got, oh. let's see, about half a dozen Greg, things right there. Greg also wants us, let's take him over to the executive conference room. Good. Here. So in the executive conference room, we have a giant conference table, a fish tank, and the whole pond was designed around this space here. So it looks like the executives are using it. Mm. I didn't get my invite. But. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jenna's in there. She got yours. We're looking to change the whole floor out to the same stuff that's in the fish retailing area. Cool. And then that fish tank is going. Got it. All right, so we're at about seven things now. Good. <laughs> this is perfect. The trickiest part is the how are we going to find the time to do all that? Because every week, starting January 4th, a new mm -hmm. art artist comes in. And five days out of each week, we'll be building water features and ponds of some sort. In and the so sandbox. To, so to sneak off and go do that kind of stuff is going to be challenging. This is our old sandbox. And you can see the timber wall is still up. That needs to come down. This uh, whole facade's gotta come down. This whole facade has to come down. So we gotta give Roberto back his warehouse? Well, we need this because Amazon's orders are getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and we need more dock space because more orders are coming in and out. Mm -hmm. So yes, Roberto wants his, his warehouse back. So big thank you to all of you people out yeah. there that are ordering <laughs> off of Amazon. Yeah. Don't you know my phone number? <laughs> I get you deal. <laughs> I get you deal. <laughs> Because Whitstock's getting his cardio. <laughs> There's not too many times you actually get to see a Whitstock in his elements, but you're about to. Sometimes the Whitstock overexerts himself and he passes out at the top of the stairs. Let's go see. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. He's never gonna get less fat by walking up and down the stairs. Look at those calf muscles on him. They're huge. Oh, there he goes. It's like he's doing <laughs> judo. <laughs> he likes turtles and judo. Tur turtles and judo. What do we have to do to the sandbox space? I know we've already talked about it on our videos, but what do we have left to do before the artists of the year get here to get it ready for them? So Shedsters is doing their thing. You can see the sheds coming along. I think they started hanging some drywall inside. So that thing's gonna look incredible when it's finished. But in order for us to get ready for everybody else, we've got this weird little space right in here yeah. where we need to build like some type of planter. So is it gonna go all the way to the end? All the way to the end. Cool. We need to get this sand and soil up a little higher over there so we have 
have one more wall coming in over there with then some type of ramp that needs to come in and out of there. We got about a week. Yeah, yeah. And, a, and a huge <laughs> list of stuff to do. What next? Drink coffee, caffeinate, and then get going. Yeah. Okay, so Brian got held up. He's back over in the sandbox talking with the heavy equipment repair guy on our mini excavator. Don't worry, everybody out there, she's gonna be okay. But what I'm gonna do is come back outside. I'm gonna come back outside and keep our project out here rolling. Like we showed you earlier in this video, we have a ton of stuff that needs to get moved and reorganized out here. So we're just gonna get this thing kind of wrapped up today, maybe today. If we don't get it totally done today, we'll finish it up tomorrow. And then we're gonna refocus our energy in the sandbox. And then we will start developing a game plan for what's going on around Woody's cage or enclosure. And then we can figure out what's going on around Woody's enclosure and get that thing started. A Little bit more work to do out here, but we are getting close to having this all finished. We're just praying for some good weather and it doesn't get all wet on us and prevent us from doing a bunch of the work that we need to do out here. So we'll put the camera down and we'll keep going. So as promised, we are starting this project over at Hot Tub Tony's today. So you can see we've got the boys out here loading up the truck. We've got the rest of the product. There's that enormous 40 by 40 liner that we have there. We've got all of the rippled urns, all five of them in through there. Micho's loading up the three inch pipe that's gonna be feeding those urns very aggressively with two five to nine pumps. It's a brisk 18 degrees out here today and we are feeling hot. Hey boys, let's go. So that's what 40 large aqua blocks looks like, boys and girls. Back of my truck. So clean and organized. It just looks amazing around here right now. All right, so you can remember we had, I don't know, 60, 70 pallets worth of stone all along this area and through here. That entire back area was just a mess, very disorganized, different rocks everywhere. Everything has since been palletized, reorganized, wrapped up so that everything is easily accessible. You guys did a fantastic job back here, just very, very clean and neat and getting us ready for the future. We have about eight to 10 weeks here at Aqualand that we are going to be doing an incredible amount of work. We have all of the past artists of the year coming in, one a week starting just after the new year to build inside of our sandbox. We wanted to make sure that all of our resources were again, well organized and ready to roll so that when they got here, everything was carte blanche and we could just roll with it and give them everything that they need and give them a top notch world class operation to work with. We needed to do a little bit of housekeeping in order to do that. This was just the first thing on our list of things to do before the Artist of the Year tour starts here at Aqualand. We have a lot of really cool little projects that we have to get done before the Artist of the Year come in. Talk about Woody's enclosure. We've got the retail store revamp. We've got to continue to work inside the sandbox. But the boys did a fantastic job knocking out this part of our punch list. To find out what we're doing next, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell so that you can stay up to date with all the things that we're doing here in the off season here at Aquascape on the Team Aquascape channel, which airs to you every every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. With that said, this is Chris, and we out.